Hello, I'm Dr. Tsui, the acupuncturist and the herbalist, of course, the artist. And today I'm going to talk about two things. Number one, I'm going to talk about these paintings. And then number two, I'm going to talk about art's spirit. And the uh, first thing is these paintings, the size is uh, uh, 8 by 10. And uh, as you know, uh, I use uh, yin and yang to create the art. So they basically I use the line continuation and uh, to make uh, the uh, what I want for the artist. And after that, I pour the color on it and mix. Then I then I draw again and uh, between back and forth, yin and yang, and I keep doing. So they have a different depths. So they come out different things. So this is a portrait of uh, Picasso. Uh, so, uh, of of course, see sometimes. Uh, have a, of course realistically you're going to see the Picasso's face or this is a more more toward to you cannot see the face but this is more spiritual more uh, try to get in your mind get your body and um, for you not not necessary you can see or you can see so they are in between there so that's the uh, we're going to talk about the spirits today and uh, of course, this I use the oil uh, acrylic on canvas. And uh, so that's the first things I talk. So now I'm going to talk about uh, how to get this uh, spirit. Uh, so from my experience, so more uh, conversational. And uh, of course, like, uh, like anything, so they have uh, with me is because I practice acupuncture, Chinese medicine. So basically, you have a few things you have to do. Say so body, you know, make sure you're healthy, and uh, then you have a healthy mind, and then you hopefully you have a healthy spirit. So a lot of things we keep us going, especially with the artist. So it's not necessary. A lot of things is about the money or about the things. So for some reason, on the back of your head, from your heart, from your soul. So you really want to do something, and uh, so first things uh, you use more like a medicine, and uh, and you create those things, and uh, sometimes they are help make you feel good, make you uh, feel healthy, uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually. But a lot of times you still hard to explain. So that's just because I have a different levels. We don't have the language to explain a lot of things. Uh, that's why we use yin and yang, we use uh, spirits, we use uh, uh, anything, abstract, uh, you know, realistic things, you know, name it, you know, uh, uh, you know, a different style, different movement. But all those things, so not, uh, that's just we are human being try to look for something to explain. But uh, just like I use, uh, uh, arts medicine, uh, arts healing medicine, and the movements, all those things, just the name. So the, of course, uh, arts is uh, uh, myself, so this uh, artist, uh, uh, the arts reflect the artist. So what you do and uh, what you eat, what you behave, that's a show on your paintings. And uh, of course, my paintings so uh, different time, different days, so they look so different. And I still try to try to think about that I have to have this scope in there to uh, get those kind of feelings uh, related with a Picasso or look like a Picasso or feel like a Picasso. So that's uh, <coughs> the art's work I created, and uh, especially. I do so much in scope, and uh, some they say, oh, I feel, I see the scope with some other artists do, and uh, where the other, the other scope look like. Then I start to uh, lose interest, you know, because uh, I don't, uh, my purpose is not to make a scope. And uh, just like, uh, you know, uh, my very beginning, try to make a nose, make eyes, make the paint in the trees, Try to make it more realistic, and uh, see realistic things is more belong to yen, 
and un uh, you know the uh, unrealistic. Uh, so that's more belong to yin. So that's why I always have a constantly have a yin and yang. So like uh, the body of work, you know, the even body itself, and this is more belong to yang. So it's something you can touch, you can feel, you can see it. And uh, something you cannot see, just an uh, unrealistic uh, work. And uh, example, abstract or, you know, abstract idea, or even the, uh, the more spiritual, because uh, if the artists know what they're doing, they try to get those kind of spiritual feeling from the paintings. Uh, of course, they do after that. They feel good because they match with their physical condition. So that's why spiritual things is more abstract. So that's why, of course, that's, uh, that's why, you know, in the arts world, you know, all those uh, years, uh, you know, 50, 100 years, so we always try to uh, find the name, you know, the, and the, even uh, each artist or each movement, because uh, that's a business. Business, uh, you know, with the arts world, they have to sell something. They have to explain to people. Of course, see, a lot of things is I ex cannot explain. So the, the one cannot explain is so more spiritual. And uh, the one, you even, you go to the gallery, you look at my work, and uh, you see the work, but uh, you either you like it or you hate it, or in between. So that's uh, normal. So don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. Uh, you hate my work. You just say that that's a crap. And that's not the one I want. That's not match with me. That's the, not the medicine uh, you create. Uh, maybe create for yourself, but it's not uh, created for the uh, the reviewer. I understand that. Uh, my my purpose is not uh, uh, create uh, you know the art's work purposely to match with somebody else. But of course. Uh, so it's more try to create this art to match with me. And it's more spiritual way to uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually. So that's why they do heal your body and uh, your soul. You know, that's the, the difference. But, your, but my painting, especially one painting, cannot uh, help everybody because their physical condition, mental, and spiritual condition is different. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I cannot uh, make it, but I don't be sorry because uh, I say that because uh, be an artist is just uh, so it's really self-centered and uh, they really self-medicate self themselves and uh, that's the whole thing and uh, that's why they call art, for me it's just art as medicine and the medicine is good for your physically, mentally and spiritually Either you, uh, the viewer like it or hates it, and uh, that's uh, sometimes not necessarily important because uh, when I create the one match with my system, and uh, out there some people, some collector or some viewer, or they have a similar physical condition, and they love it, and they, uh, they cannot live without it because uh, that's the medicine they match with their system. So that's why it's, uh, the spiritual feelings and uh, the medication uh, the artists created and uh, this is not uh, for everybody. And uh, the, uh, so this uh, because of poetry so is not uh, good for anybody. And uh, that's why if you don't like it, don't buy it, don't collect it, and then don't even don't look at it. And if you love it, look more and absorb more and use as medic medicine. So I really appreciate your watching and we're going to talk more and I'm going to have more video, more art to show you. I hope you understand. I hope you are physically, mentally, spiritually balanced. I really appreciate your watching. Thank you.